NBA Friday on ESPN as the Lakers and Knicks on a Friday night in New York City. A sellout crowd at Madison Square Garden and many to see the Cinderella story of Jeremy Lin who has captivated the fans here at the world's most famous arena. Think about this a week ago Jeremy Lin didn't even know if he was going to make this team. Remember today is the day that contracts are guaranteed for players for the rest of the season and Jeremy Lin told me a week ago I was just fighting for my job. I didn't even know if I was going to have a roster spot and now Mike he's the toast of New York in a word he said overwhelming is what this past week has been like he said my parents and I were kind of low key people now he can't even walk down the street without getting crazy attention. I asked Derek Fisher how the Lakers feel about insanity he said we don't really know much about it we respect them because we respect all NBA players. I said what about the feel good story part he just kind of chuckled and said maybe if he were a Laker Lynn on the drive gets inside lost it got it back. Here again, you see the difference with the size of the Laker front line when he penetrates. Lynn shot, knocks it down, a three-pointer. Well, you can see why he he can keep his dribble. He dribbles low to the floor, he explodes, and he has the ability to find people. Chandler spinning inside, puts it up and puts it in. Chandler having one of his best seasons, leading the NBA in field goal percentage. Lynn will shoot again, knocks it down. A two-pointer for Jeremy Lynn. Shot won't go. Bynum tips it. Walker comes up with it. Now the Lakers have got to explode on, on Gasol. Good Nine. fade ahead, and Chandler throws it down. There's Jeremy Lin with that court vision. Lin puts it up. Puts it in. Jeremy Lin off to a terrific start. Seven points and two assists. Right now, Fisher is being exploited because he's playing him soft. This is what I like. I like this. Lin picks it up. Lin drives in and lays it in. Wish that uh, people would also give a lot of the other players on this team a lot more credit. I think there's uh, too much attention coming my way, and I mean you have Tyson who's been playing like an all-star all year, and you have you know guys like Shump and and Landry who play the unbelievable defense, move the ball. I mean, what's happening right now is a lot bigger than just you know one person, and I think that's what I think uh, I wish we would start to talk about more. Blake first came back last night. He played 31 minutes after missing those 13 you. They need him, Mike. They need him. They need the ball handling and the penetration and the three-point shooting. Jared Jeffries knocks down a jumper. There's no question they're putting a the body on Lynn. No, that, it's good for him. That, that will, you know, it will give his development. He'll get there quicker. Knocks it down and a foul. They put a body that time. And Lynn with a chance for a three-point play. I don't think he's worrying very much about the body contact. And that's why I say when you look at him, he's deceiving because he's 6'3 and 200 pounds. He can take the hits without losing control of either the shot or the pass. Lynn to the basket, flips it up and draws the foul on Gasol. Lynn has won on every level. He won a state title when he was in high school in Palo Alto. They were very successful at Harvard, and that's not easy. Novak drills another three. Novak having his third strong game. He's got eight points off the bench. Well, you have to be able to hold them off because you know it's almost impossible to stop the big three. Chandler gets it in on a nice feed from Jeremy Lin. I like that. I like the fact that Chandler keeps moving. Lin with five assists. Tough turnaround shot, gets to the go. 16 points for Lynn. See, that's what we talk about high IQ. When he dribbled left and went down in there, Fisher was right on him. And when he made that spin move, he knows he can shoot up over the top of Fisher. Landry Fields on Bryant. Quick jump shot, short, Jeremy Lynn the rebound. Give him those jump shots, just don't let him put it down on the floor. Lynn likes the open floor, spinning, puts it up and oh, banks it in. Yes. Sensational play for Jeremy Lynn. And, and he's the Garden crowd on its feet again. Mike, he's really enjoying it. My dad it. loves basketball, and uh, he you know, moved from Taiwan to America, saw it on TV, and kind of fell in love with the game. And um, at that time, we, uh, I, you know, me and my older brother, we were young, and so we just started playing every day with my dad, and uh, that's just you know, how I learned to love the game. Jeremy, the ride continues. You're not a surprise to anyone anymore. What has been working well with your game tonight? Uh, well, today, the, the bigs have been sacking off a lot, giving me a little bit of space, but I need to do a better job of finding Tyson. I haven't gotten him enough touches in the shooters, so I got to make sure I go back and look at that film.
Describe. Are you going to go back and look at it now? Right now, yeah. Describe how your teammates seem to feed off of your success. The energy in the building just changes. Can you feel that? Basketball is a five-game sport. I mean, five-person sport, and uh, you know, we're all on the same team. And so we all feed off each other. It's not just me. It's not just Tyson. It's all of us. Thank you very much. Well, Mike, the fact that he has 18 points, his basketball IQ is very high. Watch. You Fisher goes under, step back, shoot the jumper. And then what happens here? The no-look pass. Tyson Chandler running hard. Now watch him reward him again in the middle of the floor. See, big guys won't run hard if they know they're not going to get the. How about this spin move? Take your time, shoot up over the top. Now on this next one, watch as he struggles, but he regains and he plays the board. Absolutely beautiful. Lynn gets inside, flips it up, and in over Bynum after getting past Fisher. Lynn inside, uh, oh, blocked but foul by Bynum. A four-point game, under three and a half, Lynn on the drive, banks it oh, in. Yes. Terrific balance, UB. Beautiful. See, that time, Blake pushed him to the baseline and was looking for help. He, but there was no help. Take your time. Now, the main thing, like we said, from now to the end of this corner, good shots. Lynn to the basket and draws the foul on Capono. Jumper, the rookie on Bryant, gets away. Line drive, in and out. Nolak was late. Lynn to Shumpert. Shumpert there fakes, drives, go. and finishes. There you go. There you go. That's there for this guy. This guy gets there from 20 feet with one bounce. Shumpert out to Lynn. Lynn fakes, pull up jump shot. Knocks it down. Now, now, 29 for Jeremy Lynn. Timeout Lakers. Give Shumpert a lot of credit. That was a great move, and he found Lynn. The soul is on Lynn. Brown wants him, puts up the two-pointer, puts it in! Oh. Jeremy Lin with 31! How about measuring Gasol? Measuring him and leveling Gasol off because Gasol did not want him to blow by him off the dribble. Jeffrey's another rebound. Lin for three. Bang! The Jeremy Lin show continues here. Madison Square Garden. Inside, knocked away. Lynn on the break. Lynn to Shumpert. Shumpert lays it in. You have to understand the clock and understand how far you're out in front. Lynn on the drive, gets inside, banks it in. Wow! How about that? How about that? He did not want a screen. He wanted to take his man. Come up on the other side of the rim. Lynn looking. Foul by oh. Barnes with 3.3 remaining on the 24. Unbelievable numbers starting last Saturday. It's all happened in less than a week. And he's hearing the MVP chance. The other factor in all of this, Mike, is that he's shooting over 58%. I mean, that, that's incredible, along with the fact that he's averaging over 25 points. And he is so energized, yes. his teammates, UB. Oh, it's great. It's been great for basketball in New York, no doubt about it. And it's been great for the fans. It's the most points by a Nick this year. And the Knicks will win it. Lynn's sanity continues here at Madison Square Garden as the undrafted point guard from Harvard electrifies MSG once again. And the hero from Harvard is with Lisa Salters. The hero from Harvard, wow, that's a new nickname. 38 points tonight for you, Jeremy, the most by a Nick this season. What does that mean to you? Uh, again, I'm just going to thank my team. Jared Jeffries, how many offensive rebounds he got, the way we moved the ball. I mean, it's fun to play basketball with these guys. What was it like to be gunning it out, so to speak, with Kobe Bryant? Uh, well, you know, we just try to <laughs> we just try to play together. We weren't really too worried about what the other team was doing, but we're thankful. Obviously, it's a big game. They're a great team. We respect them a lot. We respect their players, and so we're just happy to be able to get a win. How does this compare to how you dream or hope your NBA career would go? This is this is this is it right here. This is it right here. This is my dream, and uh, I'm just thankful to to God, man, because this is this is my dream being lived out, and I'm so thankful for that. I didn't know how it would end up, you know, obviously. Um, this has been a wild week for me and the team. And um, I mean, obviously, you hope for the best and prepare for the worst. And uh, I'm just thankful that it's turning out the way it is.
Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you.